September, something very special comes to Chiswick. It's the Chiswick Dog Show, held here at Chiswick House and Gardens. There are hundreds of dogs, so many things going on, from stands and stalls to food and drink, celebrity judges and all. So let's go and take a look at all the action. One of our local celebrity judges here today at the dog show is Wayne Sleep, the world-renowned ballet dancer. Wayne, what category are you judging today? My dog's got talent. Oh. A bit like Britain's got talent, because dogs always win. <laughs> what are you going to be looking for when you're judging? Um, well, if they can do any tricks, like stand on their hind legs, spin, um, jump, do a forward roll or whatever it is. I don't know. But it will stand out when they're good because everybody stands out if they're unique. You never know. There might be some ballet dancing dogs, Wayne. Well, I've known a few. <laughs> Richard, what were you looking for today? Most importantly, um, people entering the spirit of the occasion, which is having made a costume, coming along and showing it off to everyone today on an absolutely fantastic day down in Chiswick Park. Seems to be getting more and more popular each year, doesn't it? If you look around me now, I mean, there are thousands of people here. I think, well, an enormous amount of credit must go to the organisers for the effort that they put in. They bring out burgers, beers, tents, things to see, um, things like the fancy dress, things like the, the, um, the agility classes, and, and people, love, people love to see their dogs. People love to uh, show their dogs off, but also just to wander around with a dog or even without one, just to see what's going on. The atmosphere is really, really good fun. There's a committee of 10 or 11 of us, and we all get together in about February we start, and then we gradually get going, and everyone has a certain role to play, and it's um, a big challenge because it's got so much bigger every time, you know, but anyway. Jan, I have to ask, what do you think makes it so popular an event here in Chiswick? I do not, I don't know what it is. I think it's partly because it is a such a beautiful setting and also because it, it's very much a community-minded thing. There are more dogs walking this park probably than any other park. We know that there are more dog poo bags used in this park than anywhere <laughs> else in the country because the Dogs Trust supply the poo bags and Hence so we know that. So I think people just know about it. But it's not just Chiswick. People come from miles around, which is surprising, but they do. As well as seeing a spectacular variety of dogs at the Chiswick Dog Show, there's also an amazing amount of stalls here offering everything from dog trousers to charity, donations, you name it. And Simon is the man who organises it. Simon, it looks bigger and better this year. Who are here? It is bigger and better this year. Uh, we've got an additional 10 stalls than what we had last year, or maybe it's more, 15. Wow. Um, we've got um, all sorts of things. We've got people doing uh, classic sort of dog accessories, but we've even got people like Bang & Olufsen who are doing sort of hi-fi stuff. Wow. We've got snacks, um, food for dogs, all sorts of things. Um, I think the point I want to make actually about this is that this is a show that is put on by the community and for the community. I mean, this is entirely voluntary Everybody puts their time in completely free and all of the proceeds go to charity. So it's a, it's, a, it's a really good community event and we're really pleased with the turnout today. So we've just seen Best Young Handler at the Chiswick Dog Show, judged by Mel and Jane. So you're both local residents and very well-known faces around here. Can you tell us, first of all, what were you looking for? It was really tricky because there were so many and they were all really, really good. You could see the dogs so calm, certain the handlers all really in charge of them and stuff. And we just were looking all the time for just a good relationship, that sense that they got on, that there was a little bit of control and it's so adorable. Some of them because there were some very, very little people with some very, very big dogs. Another of our celebrity judges at the Chiswick Dog Show this year is writer and local resident Stephen Moffat. Stephen, what were you judging and what were you looking for? Uh, we were judging fancy dress dogs. And uh, well, we were looking for uh, what sort of ingenuity, sort of fun, and there's a lot of really, really clever things here. Uh, there, there was one which uh, didn't get a prize, got a special mention, but uh, uh, someone just brought a great day and said it was Scooby-Doo. I thought, yeah, that's, that's minimalism. I like that. That's lazy, but it's clever. <laughs> 
So Sonia, last year you won Best in Show, Best Rescue, and I believe it inspired you to go on your own personal journey of fitness. Can you tell us about it? It did. When I saw the video um, of me getting best in, best in Show, I was absolutely shocked at how large I actually looked and was. I was extremely large, and since then I've actually lost, it put me on a road to losing weight, and I've actually lost four and a half stone. So still losing, but feel much better and more energetic, but it definitely inspired me to lose weight. It's been another amazing year at the Chiswick House Dog Show. We've seen all kinds of dogs in classes, celebrity judges, you name it. Come along next year, you'd be barking mad to miss it. Okay.